quick live stream talking about the thyroid um, and I also am going to have a series, a new series, a new uh, podcast where I'm not going to interview the famous doctors. I'm going to interview real people. And the woman I interviewed, boy, does she have some thyroid, to, thyroid stories to talk about in fasting. So it's my anti-fasting series and real people, real talk, enough of the, the experts. But I digress. Whew. What's up? Ripping the fitness. Up. Uh, let me turn on. It is, of course, another hot day. Peace. Okay. Uh, let's talk about this. What's up, solo priest? Now, the thyroid is a gland that sits right there. Y'all people right there. So if you're ever swallowing and it's like kind of difficult to swallow or you got some heartbeat in your throat, y'all need to wake up like right away. Now, a lot of you guys don't feel that at all. Or if you have a goiter growing in, in the front of your throat. I don't have my seatbelt on. I'm parked. Let me get comfortable in my new truck. Not new, but I restored it. I restored 90% of it myself. And now hi, something with Thunder, Luca, Lulu. I'll tell them hello when I get back to the Ranch Rooney. Okay, so if you're feeling the palpation, if you're feeling like a thickness in your throat, a little pain, a little swelling, y'all better wake up. Now, this gland is pretty gnarly. It produces hormones. What's up, Lania? Got your message on Facebook. Oh, by the way, you guys, I'm having a, because I'm moving to my new property soon, and I'm, I'm having a retreat and build, help Stephanie build her fence for her fur babies, her horses. But I'm still in the phases of trying to organize that whole thing. So Linnea, Linnea is one of the people who's like, let's, let's go do it. Okay, so um, the reason why I want to talk about this in terms of the these diets is because a lot of you guys will have low T3, having issues with T4, T3 conversion, and you might be hyper or hypo, don't even know it. Thyroidectomy and needed, need to find out the best way to do keto. Okay, good, Sherry, perfect. Hi, Jamie. So uh, years ago, when I first started talking about the ketogenic diet, people were saying that if you do keto, you can't do it if you have a thyroid problem, if you have th a hyper hy hypo or Hashi's or the, you know, the combo, uh, because it could ruin and wreck the thyroid even more because uh, the thyroid needs uh, glucose. But then people started waking up and realizing that we go through a process called gluconeogenesis uh, which is the breakdown of amino acids, proteins, and it can raise your blood sugar just enough for the red blood cells of the, for the thyroid. So that's not an issue. The issue is doing these diets wrong and either having an underlying thyroid problem and then exacerbating it and making it worse or developing one because you're on the fringe, right? You're on the edge and making it worse. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and I'm still surprised when people are like, but everybody else says everything's fabulous. It's either they're saying like it's the worst diet ever to do keto or carnivore, or they're like, oh, it's so easy, you just eat a bunch of meat and it doesn't frack up your thyroid and, and fast on top of that, and why don't you add some dry fast, fasting and some one meal a day? I mean, you cannot make up this absolute cluster frack of nonsense. Okay. Uh, What's up? Thank you for the great work you do. Thank you. We just had a consultation the other day. Thank you. Um, I thought it would be good. Uh, yeah, I'll t I, I, I do talk about I don't have a specific video on the gallbladder, but I'll talk about it a little a bit today after I talk about the thyroid. Uh, for people on the replay, there's people asking questions. It's so funny. I still people get getting people saying, oh my God, you focus. You just keep going off topic. It's so ridiculous. Just ignore the people in the chat. Just like, relax. Give yourself a thyroid problem. Okay. So, um, essentially, 
I'm gonna check my phone see if it's hot. Yeah, it's hot, but who cares? For now, I'll, I'll switch it to in front of the air conditioning. Uh, so, you know, how, oh, thank you, Courtney, Terry Jones, beautiful skin. How, how old are you again? You're 32. I, thank you very much, Courtney. I am 54, almost turning 55. Crazy, right? Uh, time just goes. Bleep. Okay, here's the problem. In today's society, um, people are people don't recognize stress anymore. They just don't. They go like, I'm not stressed. I'm, I, you know, I'm, everybody's stressed. So people have to understand what stress is. Stress is not just arguing with somebody or a job or kids or whatever. Stress is inflammation. Stress is toxic exposure. Stress is, oh, you guys, thank you. Uh, Lena's lookbook. Thank you, Courtney and Lena, for the, the donation to the Super Chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All donations, I never, y'all know in all these years, I don't even at all talk about money, but I, I all donations go to these rescued horses I got, and that's it. Okay. Um, Okay, the problem is is that people don't recognize the stress. They don't recognize that they're eating too fast. They don't recognize that they're having histamine responses, which too much histamine in the body will, inflammation in, a, in essence, will break down tissue. And people don't understand the importance of a circadian rhythm. And with having things like leaky gut, which I've mentioned many times, which most people have leaky gut, you can't wait for my next next uh, next keto workout video. Okay, I'll do one. I'll do one. I'm trying to find the time in this thing. Time in this town. I'm about to leave next month to my new property and drive all the animals and everything and the RV and oof, and have consultations at the same time. But your gut wall should be very tight. I've done. I've shown this very many times, and they open up. You also have these little flowy hairs called my, microvilli. And when those things break down, you are not able, number one, to absorb the nutrients or to break down the food to small particles to enter the bloodstream without the body being alert, alerted or alarmed to it. And then the body starts to attack itself, with, which is an autoimmune response or immune response. And we're living in such a toxic soup right now that you are you are stressed stress can be one bad text bill thought you know people don't understand their hydrochloric acids drop quickly under stress people think that acid reflux is them having a lot of acid which some people can have hyperchlorhydria but most people have hypo and uh so they start taking proton pumps these are medications that lower the stomach acid even more or people have been exposed to different types of medication so it doesn't matter if it's here or here or here or here or anywhere it's all connected so if you have a pain in one place of your body then there's signals going on here to alert an inflammatory response or an emergency response I'm just checking the phone to see how hot it is maybe I should move it let me move it, guys. Go over here. Oh, it's not staying up. Let me just keep, keep it up. Come on, phone. Be good to Steph. Maybe I'll just have to hold it here to keep in front of my... I'm trying to jimmy rig this whole thing right now. Oh, my water bottle will hold it. But I need to drink water. That's not good. Hold on, guys. Let's see if I can jimmy rig this thing. Turn it around. This phone just keeps getting real hot. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. Now it's in front of the air conditioning. So I'll turn up the air conditioning a little. Um. So a lot of you guys are having adrenal fatigue. The adrenals are connected to the thyroid. Like you can't escape it at all. So to think fasting is bad for your gut wall. Yep. 
because it's affecting your immune system and people don't understand that. When your immune system drops and then people are like not eating enough food and then when they eat food they tend to, to gorge on the food that they're eating and this is a lot of stress for the digestive system and this can open up the gut walls. And it can, Fasting can lower your stomach acid which opens up the gut wall. There are so many things that lower the that open up the gut wall. So with that said, I'm trying to make this. I'm trying to hold the camera so it doesn't doesn't falter. Okay. Um. People will go and fast, and then they'll do a ketogenic protocol, and then they won't adapt, and then on top of not adapting, they're T3 hormone, the T4 to T3 conversion goes, they begin to develop low thyroid hormone. Then on top of that, people aren't eating enough of the right foods. I remember now, wait, I remember now from your last video on fast while sleeping in 12 hours. Exactly. Um, so, so I'm just trying to find the right combo because it's so hot outside. The windows are hot. The phone's getting hot and I don't want to jack up the phone. Okay. So the things that you want to consider is that when you do a ketogenic diet, you essentially are sweet or carnivore, right? You want to be ketone de dependent, not glucose dependent, but to become ketone dependent, people are doing all the things wrong. They're eating a lot of protein. If you eat a lot of protein, how pray tell are you going to get enough glucose to glycogen storage, how are you going to do that? You're not because protein doesn't give you enough gasoline to fill up glycogen. It just doesn't. And so you're just constantly running on your adrenal system and also, I'll, I'll help you guys, or I'll answer the questions in a second. You guys are just constantly running on available blood glucose that's just not enough. So people start drinking coffee, then they crash. Then they're having an insulin response and they're having a glucagon response and then glucagon's not working and insulin's not working. And then they can't keep their blood, blood sugar stable here in the middle anymore. And that's when people start to feel tired and um, then they start using more caffeine and or they are in total denial. They're just constantly running on adrenals for their adrenaline rather than considering the fact that they're wearing their adrenals out by not having enough stored glycogen. You don't want your body to just start making cortisol to give you energy because too much cortisol production is gonna do what? Break the body down, make the hormones go wacky, legit. Okay, my phone's calling off now. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, you know, there's foods, there's a couple things. So there's stress, there is toxic exposure, there is a lack of exercise, there is lack of sleep, vegan diet, good for you. It's a, your, your girl, wait, your girlfriend, unfortunately, Courtney has been brainwashed to believe just absolute embarrassment, garbage of nonsense. We've never been a vegan society because you cannot get B12. You cannot get these, you cannot get B12, you cannot get vitamin D, and you cannot get vitamin A. You get you get keratin, but keratin does not convert into retinol very well. So you're just lacking in a lot of good fat soluble vitamins, and this jacks you up. You say, hey Steph, I'm 54, seeing the early signs of, what is it? Peri oh, peri perimenopause. What must I do to avoid hysterect, wait, perimeno, menopause to avoid a hysterectomy. Why do you need a hysterectomy just because you're going through perimenopause? Okay, I'm gonna answer these questions in a sec. I promise, just hold on one sec. Um, so what do you need to do to help the thyroid? Number one, if you do any keto or carnivore or protocol, please do high fat because the body cannot make a lot of uh, energy out of a bunch of meat. It needs either fat, ketone production, or it needs carbohydrates. You either need to go off any keto or carnivore and do carbs, starches, or you have to eat high fat if you're gonna do keto or carnivore and just stop listening to some of these people tell you, no, it's okay to eat a bunch of protein. It doesn't jack your your thyroid up or adrenal system, adrenal system up or your insulin up or your glucose up. I mean, these people are in just like serious denial. 
Ah, uh, Courtney says, don't forget to like up this stream, guys. Don't forget. Don't forget to like up this stream. So, basically, you, you got to think in a couple different arenas in life. Like, okay, you got to get your fat up high. 200 grams of fat. I don't mean like um, a plant fat or MCT oil that people are still using this stuff. Use friggin' animal fat. Now I'm doing all new uh, meal plans, so I'm really tightening it up so people understand the macros, the food choices, the food list, the histamine, the this, the that, blah, blah. If you have hypoglycemia, things of this nature. Okay, um, so you have to consider enough fat. Now, another thing that can cater to a thyroid problem is hypoglycemia, not the inability to balance your blood sugar. You'd have to eat every couple of hours. Not just eat a bunch of fat, but you have to eat fat or fatty protein every freaking couple of hours legit okay what else um do we have to consider and that would be things like what nutrients does the thyroid need the thyroid needs vitamin d get off the vitamin d kidney destroying vitamin d supplements now over the years it's not a lot but i've had two clients damage their kidneys from these damn vitamin d supplements that doctors throw at you like tic tacs okay like skittles it's not good mm -mm. remember anything in concentration has to go through these organs they have to be filtrated through the liver and kidneys and sometimes those tubules can become damaged and agitated and thickened and problematic and then you have protein byproducts stuck in the kidneys and then things get become even more uh, damaged in the context of the kidney function. Now with that said, get outside between 11 and two. Use a spirit event. You can do cod, right? So we want foods also high in selenium. That's going to be liver. That's going to be cod, right? That's going to be uh, uh, oysters or oyster extract. Oh, Courtney, please run from this. Fire this doctor if they want you on statins and vitamin D pills. Doctors, doctors, emergency doctors, great, but most of them are about diagnosis and pharmaceuticals. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer some of these questions in a sec. Um, you need zinc, right? You need you need selenium and iodine. Some things go together: zinc and copper, selenium, iodine. So you can get selenium and iodine from oyster extract. It's great. Salmon Row has a high amount of both as well. You can get selenium from liver and you can get vitamin D from liver and you can get um, vitamin E from liver. So you need also vitamin E as well. So you need E. You need zinc, zinc copper. You need uh, selenium, iodine. Get your iodine from the sea people. Don't do those drops. They're poisonous. Legit. You need iron. Do not do iron supplements. They are poisonous for the liver. Um, so there are so many things that are just misnomers. People are throwing out multivitamins with these things. And multivitamins are made in a lab. We need nature. The body is organic and knows what nature is. I'm just saying. Um... These are the nutrients missing in carnivore. People are eating like a lot. Hey, sweet lady. There's this hello, blessings. Is sweet potato okay to eat with keto for carbs? Uh, not keto. You can't eat carbs on keto. It's got to be called low carb, high fat. And, you know, it's got a little bit of oxalates. Not a lot. but And it's a little bit of a nightshade, but not a lot. Yes, you can do sweet potato if you don't have a histamine response to it. Instead of processed rice, there's also a parsnip, sweet lady. Okay, um, so if you're gonna do a keto or carnivore protocol, you need these organ meats, or you need these seafoods, especially if you have an underlying thyroid problem. So it can manifest in feeling jittery, headachey, heart palpy, swollen, swollen legs, problems with your lymphatic system hair falling out, eyebrows getting thin, dry skin, dry hair, constipation, 
Uh, so I, uh, Amos, I'll, I'll get there right there. Uh, is asking about receding gums. No, it's it's fasting that leads to receding gums. That should be a whole nother. I should, I should show the gums <laughs> and do a gum receding um, video. But uh, people don't understand how bad fasting is and then not having enough fat and eating too much protein on these diets. And then the meat itself, if you're eating the ground beef and ribeyes, uh, rib you're not gonna get the, the zinc, copper, selenium, iodine that you need for the thyroid. And you really need it, legit. So I just wanted to do a quick video on talking about some of the nutrients that you need, uh, the symptoms, the stress, the lack of sleep, the lack of circadian rhythm, exposure to too much blue light when you're sitting inside not enough sunlight from vitamin d this is the reason why that the majority of consultations that i do people are having thyroid issues and don't know it okay i'm going to put my camera back over here and not sit in a weird position i just want my phone to cool off okay let's see here I'm going to answer some of your guys' questions. Let me go back. My phone better not. I think I have... Voila, I do. I have a power cord because it is... I don't want my phone to... Oh, yeah. The percentage of battery is going down. Okay, let me see here. Um, let me go down. Let me go down. Lots of questions here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so someone asked about taking care of the, the gallbladder if it's removed, yes. You need a really healthy liver because the liver is connected to a biliary duct system of pipes and the, the, the kidneys and the pancreas and the gallbladder are all connected to these pipes. But the first organ that must run properly is your liver because your salts can be held in the biliary duct piping when you don't have a gallbladder. And then there are things like uh, lipase in, in intervals, right? Go on it, go off it to help with the digestion of fat. You can do uh, bile salts, but that's only if you really are having the, the, the gallbladder symptoms. And chew your fat with protein. Remember, chew your food with protein. Okay, do you have a video? Let me see, Sherry. Make sure that you have a thyroid medicine at least a couple of months ahead. That's something that you cannot live. No, 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 precious. No, 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 no. Live without, and you don't want to cut short with the shortage. That is not true. I'm trying to get people off of thyroid hormone, okay? Unless your thyroid has been radiated, your parathyroid, which I don't know if you're responding to that. I am trying to get people off slowly thyroid medications, period. I uh, can't wait for your next keto workout. Okay, fasting is bad for your gut wall. So fasting, what it does is it really puts stress on your immune system by going into gluconeogenesis and cranking out a lot of cortisol, which will weaken the gut wall. Um, so vegan diets, again, like uh, what Courtney was asking, you know, Cor the vegan diets aren't giving you the nutrition. They're high carb diets. In nature, we did not eat high carb. We don't have insulin regulation to eat high carb. That's where people get in trouble with their blood glucose and their insulin control. And then they start to develop a thing called AGES, which is advanced glycation end product, which is too much glucose in, the, in entering the cell. Hey, Steph, I'm 54 and seeing the early signs of premenopause. I remember asked this. What would must have avoided a hysterectomy down the road as a mother, my mother had, just because your mother had a hysterectomy, hysterectomy does not mean you're going to have one. Hysterectomy is, a nor, hysterectomy is a normally performed if you've got some type of cancer, if you've got uh, um, uh, fibroids, or if you have um, endometriosis, which a lot of uh, um, um, fibroids and endometrio endometriosis can be corrected if people learn more about their diet and lifestyle. So basically all my videos is like how to avoid having those things happen to then lead to any kind of cancers or anything that where your uterus could be removed. Um, let me see. So there's 78 people in the house and only 27 likes. You guys, I don't like up the stream, but it does help bring people to my little humble office, which is my new but old restored 2000 
2000 extended cab Chevy Silverado half ton that can pull all my rescued horses. Oh, let me see, was um, doctor has me on vitamin D. Yeah, I read that. Oh, please, Courtney. It's, uh, statins are so dangerous. What? Really? Come on, Steph. Uh, was upping the fat. So was it Rob? He says, uh, was upping the fat, got about 150 grams and was having heart heartburn all day. You probably have um, not enough lipase. So, and stomach acid, your HCL levels are low. So you might want to get, I don't like supplements, but for the short term, betaine HCL with pepsin and a lipase. That should help that reaction. Also, maybe apple cider vinegar prior to consuming your fat. What's up, super fin guy? How much time outside uh, with dark skin? Ah, uh, it's pretty much the same as you can see, but I'm outside. Look, <laughs> you can see my armpits. I've gotten so dark from being outside with horses and I welcome it. So I try to be outside between 10, 11 to 2 p.m. And at least, if you can only do 20 minutes, I'd be happy for 20 minutes. They say 40, but I'd say 20. Put on some shorts if you don't want it on your face. Um, does keto carnivore help with receding gums? So here's the thing. If you're fasting, if you're not adapted, your, your adrenals kick in, you're going to burn up gum because the um, breaking down of proteins is going to take from things like your neck, from your gums, from your collagen under your skin. It's going to take from a bunch of weird places. Uh, 16, 8 also be bad to do. What are, you, are you talking about fasting? To be correct, I have to watch my red meat intake because of my gout. Okay, distilled water, get those kidneys functioning really properly. Lemon water, apple cider vinegar, clear out any of the junk, right? Because you've got uric acid from the purines coming from protein byproducts. It's not the red meat doesn't have a problem. Problem, believe it or not, there's there's pretty much uric acid and chicken as well. Uh, but get those kidneys functioning properly. Make sure that your electrolytes are on point. And that's a really big reason why people develop gout and also things like the processed foods will also damage cells that make them not function properly or organs not function properly. I'm a pre postmenopausal woman with Hashimoto's, no gallbladder and a diabetic. Any suggestions, honey consultation. I got you. You guys, I do consultations. I've worked with over, over 6,000 people over the years. And it's like, people are always like, oh my God, where, where do you get your information from? You guys, it's amazing how much you can learn through just real people. Real conversations, real people. But if you're postmenopausal uh, with Hashimoto's, then you gotta regulate the, the hyper hypo. Um, I don't know if you're any on any type of desiccated um, pick thyroid for your T3, don't know that. Gallbladder, it can recorrect itself into the biliary duct system. And diabetic can act easily, really quite uh, easily be balanced if you eat every couple of hours some fatty protein. If you don't have a gallbladder, then you're gonna have to do, like I said, the lemon water, the uh, ox bile, the potential tutka, um, and maybe some BTN HCL, and chew your food with, chew your fat with protein very slowly. Um, has she has mentioned that doing fasting is a big no-no yeah fasting is just god-awful uh, you need fat to digest meat that is why even cats develop kidney stones yeah you need fat to digest meat but you really need um, it's a it's like every system is is so tightly balanced we're not supposed to be just eating lean meat. We can develop serious health issues without having enough fat with that lean protein. Uh, but we need the gallbladder. We need the protease for the, the enzyme that breaks down protein. And if your stomach acids are low, pretty, pretty sure that all of those digestive enzymes are low. If your biliary duct system is not running properly, then your pancre pancreas, which is also connected to that, that plumbing, will also not function properly to even create the digestive enzymes that you need. So it's all connected. You don't need Amos blood work before the consultation at all. I mean, that's extra. Like if you want to check your A1C, your insulin, uh, if you want to check uh, your reproductive hormonal panel, if you want to do a gut test, I still have to do a video for Let's Get Checked. I just don't have time. 
oh it's so frustrating because they have um there's also there's different panels that you can check and i have a 30 percent of i think it's percent code but they haven't activated it yet because i still need to do a freaking video for them to have it approved to see that i have the right content and i don't talk about society in the world too much uh what's up ombra nice to see you uh let's see energy 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 thank you so much one percent crypto I left my uh, I left my like thank you was it loving live love living oh, okay love living cute uh, thank you you guys 84 people in the house not enough likes need to bring I don't check to see who's liking don't be shy you need to uh, I think uh, click on the chat box and then click out of it and then hit the thumbs and come back in uh, I did my last cheat day I done that right but I, I done that bread makes me feel terrible how do I get back into ketosis it's just time you just got to go and eat 200 grams of fat split up your foods all day get some sleep get the stress down just the basic you know your body will probably adapt quicker than somebody who's never tried high fat ketogenic diet but yeah my brain's made out of 60% cholesterol and we take statins to reduce cholesterol. I know, right, John? Like, you can't make up this stuff. People are taking statins. Doctors are prescribing statins. Your, your brain is made up of fat. Your your um, lungs, the lining of your lungs need fat. Your, your reproductive horm hormones need fat. Every cell needs fat. And yet they're, they're giving you medication that actually just takes you out of life. Thanks, distilled water, lemon, apple cider vinegar, cleaner kidneys. What about baking soda? Mmm. 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 You can try it, but I wouldn't say that that would be the solution. Uh, can you get bloated from drinking water? Yes. Yes. If you have issues with your gut, and if you overdrink water, if you have issues with your gut, if you have problems with your lymphatic system, you can swell up with water. Uh, I have, or and, and your electrolytes, sorry. I've been uh, back and forth on ketosis for around four years. I wanna lose 40 pounds. I'm 39, a 39 year old woman. I have been back on keto for five days today. So ready to feel better, I just found you. Oh, cool. Well, Amos, I have a lot of videos, especially in the last two years. If you go back too far, all you're gonna see is a dorky Stephanie screaming and hollering and jumping around saying, energy, 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 which I have. Uh, I found a huge wild strawberry patch in the woods. Can't wait to, to eat them. Um, well, that would be for non-keto carnivore people. That would be okay if you're doing low-carb, high-fat. If they're wild strawberries, that would be awesome. Absolutely fantastic. So tomorrow, you guys, I'm going to release a video. It's a new podcast that I'm doing. I'm going to talk hopefully every week. So anyone who wants to talk to me about their fasting experience, their fasting decline, please go to my website at stephanieperson.com and email me through my contact page so I can book you for a video series. I already did my first person. It was fantastic. But the thing is, we didn't just talk about fasting because the fasting uh, led to the her her uh well she had already thyroid problems but it exacerbated her thyroid problems to a level where she felt like she was just dying she said six months of fasting literally destroyed her and she's still trying to recover from those six months of hardcore fasting it destroyed her and that's what a lot of gurus don't you know still people on these fasting videos that I've done they're like well if you you know if you're if you fasting like this or like fasting like that it's fine they have no signs behind what they're saying they're not talking to real people like I am I talk to people every single day every single day so when you actually hear somebody's real voice don't listen to what I'm saying I don't have a thyroid problem but why don't I talk to to a lot of people men and women okay so if men out there have a thyroid problem problem Please, I would love for you to contact me and love to talk to you on camera. Um, but a lot of people are having thyroid issues. They don't recognize the symptoms because they might be able to poop and their hair might not be falling out, but they're feeling very anxious or they're feeling very like they're crawling out of their skin or they might have developed ray nods or their eyeballs might be popping out of their head. Like 
They might have headaches or racing heartbeat, heart palps, benign palps. Um, my lymph nodes have been swelling for a while. I, I eat keto. When I eat keto, bleh. my lymph nodes have been swelling for a while. I eat keto. What's the problem? Any ideas? No. So talking to me directly might give me a better idea of there's many versions of the ways, way people try to do keto and then they don't get sleep. They don't adapt. They don't get their electrolytes on, problems, on point. So it might be the fact that your electrolytes are all jacked out or it might be a histamine response while your lymph nodes, lymph nodes are swelling. Can we call in to say hello on the video? No, this is pre-recorded. I do need to do a, um, whatchamacallit, where you can call in. Uh, see, are you aware of issues with lectins associated with keto? There's no lectins associated with keto unless you're eating a high lectin diet, which cruciferous vegetables are not high in lectins. Uh, would love a collab video with you and Dr. Shafee. This dude, like, he's really ruining you guys. Like, why do you guys want a collab video? Or do you want a debate video? We don't have the same ideology. It just, you know, we just don't. Uh, that's me. What can I listen to the first where can oh tomorrow beautiful sunflower I'm gonna release it tomorrow so you guys be looking out for tomorrow's interview I gotta get I can't make this too long because I gotta get back and work with the horses and get ready for to move them freaking 20 hour trip um, and um, uh, and then start releasing my new uh, video series about fasting so or the damages that you can do to your body from fasting and today I wanted to talk about thyroid because the woman that I interviewed has such a damaged thyroid from fasting and I get this these types of conversations with so many friggin men and women that all these gurus online don't talk about these people so it's like they don't exist people are like oh I read dr. fungus's book and he said that it's amazing and it lowers your insulin and it's the best thing ever and you know some woman's like how can he be wrong and I'm like oh are you that brain dead like everybody can be wrong I can be wrong everybody can be wrong right look into people there's I had a consultation this woman's like oh I'm gonna follow this this gut histamine response from this this doctor and she was gonna fly from like California to uh, Ohio and I was like what's his name his name is blah 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 I'm like is he online yes okay I google him I was like his eyes look hyperthyroid his eyes look like they're gonna pop out of his head and I was like this dude is not healthy he's got a big belly this guy's gonna help your gut girlfriend be careful they make things and I was like he's not going to do any uh, blood work before he's not gonna do any analysis of you prior to you flying to another state she's like yeah but he does a three-hour consulta consultation I'm like that's great but he won't have prior information going into this three-hour consultation you know she's spending tons of money so just because a PhD tells you something most likely these people get really lazy not all of them most in uh, uh, really talking to people and really going down the rabbit's hole really if they're gonna do labs really analyzing the labs with somebody's lifestyle and mind state literally not checked in on you in nine years you look like you look the same ah thank you Jake hopefully I look better than I did nine years ago why do I get acid leave reflux from keto because uh, your stomach acids are too low you might be eating too much protein. I don't know. You might have issues with not enough lipase in your stomach, in your, uh, in, 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 to be able to, to be able to break down, release from your pancreas. You may not have, uh, not pancreas, uh, 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 pancreas. You may not have enough lipase. Um, I have, and I, I answered that question by the way. Have you experienced a reproduction symptoms in Raynaud's disease? Redu oh, sorry, re reproduction. My screen, I, I need to adjust the brightness and I don't want to screw up this, the, the live stream, so I'm just leaving it. Um, have you experienced reduction of symptoms in Raynaud's disease with the change of diet in any of your clients? 1,000%, yes. So Raynaud's is a, is a condition where people will feel either tingling on the fingertips or numbness, and a lot of this is from high cortisol and histamine, so absolutely. 
Also, I have the two for baby horses. You also have two for Oh, that's awesome, Jane. Yay, what state are you in? That is awesome. Love that. So, yeah, so people who chimed in later, uh, I've, I've been talking about the uh, thyroid and how it's a gland, it's a butterfly shape, it's in your throat, and how easy it is to jack it up, especially in today's society. And the thing is about the thyroid, so many people have thyroid problems and they don't even like connect the dots at all. And then, you know, they've got constipation and a lot of people don't even think they're constipated. They're like, oh, I poop every other day or I poop every day, but they don't empty out their bowels. I should do a whole poop stream too, because a lot of you guys have serious bathroom issues. Jake S says, we all been lied to by the, by the fad diets. Yep. If everyone, well, no, oh, comment has gone that fast. If everyone is truly interested in healing, listen to Stephanie, listen to Stephanie. <laughs> Put somebody up up there. No, I'm sorry. Um, but use your critical thinking. Hey, Stephanie, I just went over the PDF on keto. I have fallen off. I'm starting again. What's, what do you think of magnesium? I don't even know what that is. Zero seven? Explain. Red lips talk. Did you come to my stream years ago? I can't remember Healing begins with gentle, being gentle on the liver. Eating fat immediately causes the liver to have, a, have to work harder uh, to produce. Okay, this is yes and this is, this is no. Um, when you say work harder, what does, it doesn't give you a fatty liver. It does not that the, it is not that the liver is working harder when you eat fat. That is, you're saying this very weird. It's the fact that your liver has a difficulty take, making ketone bodies out of fat, the conversion, when it's not functioning optimally, when the tubules are thick. That's anything. So you address the liver. You don't not eat fat. It has fat-soluble vitamins. Fat, people, does, does not thicken your liver, create damage to your liver. So I would not stop eating fat. That doesn't make any sense unless you're suggesting people go on low carb, high fat with a lower amount of fat, but not like the standard American diet low. So you're saying it weird. Um, please make a poop talk video. Okay, I will. Um, finally gave up coffee. Yay. Thanks to you and feeling amazing. Been following you for years. Just love how honest and raw you are. You are the real deal. Thank you. Um, Marlene, thank you. I think that, um, maybe people are fed up with everyone telling you how easy everything is. I hope so. You know, I'm here to warn people to be careful and there is a way that you guys can be healthy, but if you follow it, if it's a fad, right. And people are making anything. So if it's easy, then it's probably going to be bad for you. It, there's nothing more satisfying in life than going through the Rubik's Cube and figuring something out and then moving forward or else we would be bored. We wouldn't appreciate life if it was that easy. Why did I get di diarrhea from eating too much protein? So diarrhea from protein happens and now nobody knows the exact reason why, but uh, um, some people try to say that your body's releasing too much bile with too much protein. Um, yeah. I don't know if you're eating fatty protein, if there's a gallbladder problem involved in eating high amounts of like ribeye, but nobody knows the exact answer as of yet, but don't eat high amounts of protein. Could be the lack of fiber, lack of diamine oxidase. People are not sure. Uh, what did I have to say about that? See, I know I've been dealing with constipation, IBS and bloating, but soon about to have a colonoscopy be done in a couple of weeks to find out if, I, if my blood work find out my blood work next month to see if you got any polyps or anything like that. That's what it's good for. So the constipation could be your thyroid because thyroid, basically when you're overexerting the body, it's try, it literally tries to force you to calm down by lowering T3. And then all of a sudden you can't poop because it takes too much energy to poop. It takes too much energy to have a baby. It takes too much energy to put blood, which cold hands and feet and feeling cold to have blood circulation. Fat immediately causes bile uh, production. Yes, 
It doesn't damage the liver or cause fatty liver, which is what I said at all. But it does stop the healing and detox process. That's not true. That is not true, Jake. You still, that is not true. Sorry, that is not true. It's not that you, your, your liver can, I mean, Jake, I've worked with thousands of people, so that is not true. If you've got non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, then that person has to do a lot of lifestyle changes to heal that liver up. It's not like you don't, it's not like you can't eat keto. Definitely not. And I've had people who've had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and produce ketones. So just be careful, just because you follow somebody and they say this doesn't make it fact. Ain't that the truth, right? Don't forget the sun, people. It heals. Yeah, I, I mentioned the sun. I mentioned vitamin D. I mentioned the toxicity of vitamin D pills. I mentioned the zinc, the copper, in the very beginning of the stream. So people who just came in later might want to watch the beginning on all the nutrition that you need to help heal the, the thyroid. I love your I love your videos. Thank you for the information. Can't keto diet help with fibroids? Yes, Don. It can help with fibroids and it can worsen fibroids if you're not adapting. If people still eat too much protein and you're not making ketones, which means your adrenals become overreactive, cortisol, that can jack up your reproductive hormones and put your fibroids in a spin of growing. Um, if you have a propensity for fibroids, especially if you have dark skin or if you're a black person, a black woman, um, for the, the lack of vitamin D. It, it, if it's easy and quick with some notable exceptions, it probably downregulates healthy ad adaptation. Yes, i.e. it's bad for you. Thank you. Adaption or adaptation. Uh, do you, to do with microbiome change, what? I've noticed my brain focuses better on keto. That's because of the fat. So the brain is made up of so much fat and people are doing high carb diets they're spacey, they've got candida, peripherate, peripherate, peripherated, peripherated, proliferated. I can't speak English, proliferated past the blood brain barrier, and it really makes you like bleh. having hypoglycemia will make you with low blood sugar, high to low will make you. Um, my husband has Crohn's, which is awful, which is probably of the transverse colon. Uh, do you recommend keto or con Yes. ASAP. Get on this diet a ASAP for that. Um, he's probably having severe, severe reactions to high histamine foods um, for that condition. He doesn't take meds. He was diagnosed in 2005. If he's diagnosed in 2005, he better be careful because he could develop uh, colon cancer, which I've, ha I've had a few people who've developed Crohn's into colon cancer. And then they have to have like sections of their colon their large in, uh, intestine removed, so be very careful. Uh, yeah, I always, I'm always doing research on it. Stephanie, please check Anthony's medical meeting. I will, I will. But Jake, I'm also don't have to also check what another doctor says. I can go by my own experience, but I'll check them out. Uh, I think avocados cause my anxiety. Yeah, P, PB mustard, you probably are having a histamine. Now, uh, avocados are a high histamine food. Avocados are a high histamine food. Citrus is a high histamine food. Bacon, aged meats, all of these are high histamine foods. Leftovers left too long. Fish, these are all high histamine foods. So look for anxiety, heart palps, skin issues, redness, skin break, I mean, a barrage of problems, tiredness. Uh, can you tell me the name of your website again? Oh, it's Stephanie Person, Stephanie with a PH, person like a person.com. I'll put it in the show notes below when I get back to my place. I'll, I'll put it in how to link to my um, website. I also have an Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic, and I run a course where I go over all this stuff and I do articles. I write my own articles and, and course lessons, and that's uh, every week I do this and workouts and a bunch of stuff on that course page. Would be eat, would eating too much protein and not enough fat cause cramps cramps in the legs? Yes, that's a that is a, uh, a um, electrolyte imbalance. You're becoming chronically dehydrated on these diets with too much protein. You're not getting enough potassium with too much protein. Probably not balancing your salt potassium ratio, and then also uh, you're not getting enough magnesium. Probably this bugging me, and then you're probably not drinking enough water or drinking too much water. 
My name is India, but my MG07 is digestive cleanse. Oh, I've never heard of this thing. It's uh, supposed to cl cleanse your digestive digest bleh, digestive tract. Um, is it ox oxygen based or it is oxygen based? I'm also working on overnight 7 p.m. to say, oh, you're, you're a third shift night worker. Not every day, thankfully. Um, I have never heard of this product, so I can try to look back at the comments and, and see and and uh, figure it out. Or if you want to comment after I done, I'm done with this video and then like legit uh, write it in the comment section, that'd be great. Animal flesh is enriched with blood. Uh, blood glucose from natural sugars in the grass and veggies. No, it's not. Uh, ketosis is impossible if you're eating meat. Jake, you're wrong. I'm not even going to read your comment. That's just ridiculous. I've been working with thousands of people. You haven't. Stop following people who are telling you this stuff and talking as if it's fact. Be very, very careful not to talk as if life is fact because with the world flipped upside down now, people, they're talking about the, the <laughs> um, box <laughs> the monkey clocks and then people are like oh yeah I can't with all of this just be very careful what you you've got vegan doctors arguing carnivore doctors and a lot of these people just get it all wrong uh, let's see I love and appreciate you Stephanie I followed you for years but food true healing and medical powers of fruit, of fruit. no sorry everybody knows that the fruit today Jake Jake Jake, I love you too, but the fruit today has been selectively bred, cross-bred, and genetically modified. This is not the wild fruit in nature. Uh, DB8 Machiavelli says, Stephanie, coffee made me so skinny. That's weird. Uh, so glad to see you're still doing well. Stephanie keeps spreading truth to this effed up society, right, Michael? Oh, Michael. Michael from way back in the day Michael oh it is crazy all people who don't know I'm from LA came to Texas because I thought it would be amazing this town's a little odd it's I mean my windows are on fire and it's even becoming overcast I'm going to Tennessee I'm done uh, caught you live joy says okay thank you do you use mustard on your food ever no I assume if you did made your own mustard, it'd be okay in small amounts. Um, yeah, Jake, you fruit is is genetically modified. So you you think you're right because you're saying in fact it's helping people heal, but you don't have that fact. You have other people's words, and then your own. You gotta really go. You have other people. I mean, other gurus. You got to go by lots of people because a lot of people who eat fruit develop severe issues from the, the lectin problem coming from fruit or fructose issue. I have a woman, her, her mother died from fructose toxicity from, and, um, from fatty liver disease coming from too much fruit or just eating a high fruit diet. Uh, thank you. you. I've been trying to find the best. Oh, liver too. There you go, Jake. Uh, I've been trying to find the best diet to help my, me with my fibroids. I would say it's keto omnivore, but you got to do it on point fleek correct or else you can jack yourself. Um, yeah, no, Jake. <laughs> Is it Mala? Tizia test Malatesta says to the other Jake S, uh, you know, Jake, you're pushing your message. He's in the wrong place. I mean, he's followed me for a long time. I appreciate his opinion, but as he can see, Jake, I'm not budging. So all we're going to do is I'm not going to budge. Um, I don't understand why you don't have 1 million subscribers by now. It's because, Courtney, I don't sell fasting, I don't sell high protein, I don't sell products that are just garbage, keto, you know, garbage almond flour and, you know, talk about being skinny and losing a ton, ton of weight and because I, because I don't, then my subscriber count, um, and then I, I think I've been a little banned on this platform. I don't know why, maybe because I always talk about what's happening today in today's crisis I don't know um, but thank you so much for that 
Uh, no, I, I don't know about Lugos's iodine. If it's kelp iodine, that would be something. Um, hi, Stephanie. Why do some people experience electrolyte issues straight away on keto? Oh, because uh, carbohydrates, starches, rice, potatoes, fruit, these things make your body swell up with water, your cells. And when your cells swell up with water, they can hold on to electrolytes much easier than um, when you don't eat carbs because you're flushing a lot of water out. That's why people drop a lot of water weight when they cut out the carbs. They lose those electrolytes, so you have to be on them. Speaking of being dehydrated, we got 101 people in the house. Let's like up the stream, guys. I don't check to see who's liking, but it, it is helping bring people to this live. Oh, the only thing is, Jake, I'm just not gonna. Jake's like kind of like you know, writing in caps. The only thing, like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you. I'm just never going to agree with you. So if you keep pushing your narrative and I keep pushing my narrative, we won't go anywhere. So who cares then? Like, it doesn't matter. I think you should do what you think is best. And then I'll think what I do is best. And if you feel like you got a message, I think it'd be great if you actually started a YouTube channel and start spreading the knowledge that you think is best. And I think you would definitely find an audience that would like to hear what you got to say. I, and I'm not even, I'm not even joking, like legit. What is keto omnivore? That is eating no rice, potatoes, no sweet fruits, cutting out carbs and sugars, getting your your uh, your carbs, which would be coming from mostly cruciferous vegetables like broccoli cooked, um, broccoli, cabbage, asparagus, anything that's crunchy and green mostly, um, and then dropping out all out all of the rice, potatoes, and grains and all this stuff and then eating high fat coming from animal, animal fat up, up to 200 grams because you're still eating plants you're still eating plants but you're ketogenic so you're trying to get your body into a state of ketosis where your body learns how to burn its own fat for fuel which is more about oh thank you was it cyan sun cyan sun i think that's how it's said what's the best way to break a long stall on what weight loss i don't know what you meant on adapting so just be a little bit more clear and I'd love to answer that question. Uh, real wild fruit is okay, small amounts you get. Not, not sorry, PB, PB mustard, not if you're gonna do keto. Now, if you're gonna do um, low carb high fat, absolutely. But not if you're gonna try to be in ketosis. They would have to be so bitter and sour, which a lot of these berries are to be, like wild berries are pretty sour because if you have sweet berries, like blueberries and all this stuff, what happens? Bugs will obliterate them because they've raised the fructose level in them. I almost certainly, what is it? Michael Clark says, almost certainly that is why you are being banned not to be a conspiracy. I have to say it that way. Uh, theorist <laughs> or overly paranoid, but it seems to happen to everyone who speaks out in this insane. Yes. Dis <clears throat> of the truth we are seeing. The thing is, Michael, most people don't see it. So it's kind of like arguing about like a ketogenic diet to somebody who doesn't believe in it or, or arguing it to a vegan like they won't hear you. So at first I was screaming to the world, you guys wake up, you're sleeping. I'll meet people who are like, oh, I don't like to talk about politics. I'm like, if you don't know what's going like I was like that, too. OK, I'm from California, full on Smurf. OK, but then I woke up. Something hit me in the head and I was, I was like oh crap oh there's so much nonsense going on I can't with it I'm gone I'm out put me on my own land in the friggin woods and that's what I'm doing <laughs> next to the Amish uh, stop eating three hours before sleep not fasting is the best exactly Ombra thank you so much amen beautiful sunflower says uh, we've been lied to by <clears throat> some people up there uh, uh, I hate to tell you this, Jake, but all fruit in stores has been completely Frankensteined. All of it. Courtney believes in with, uh, agrees with uh, Michael Clark. So do I. You guys know that's why I came to Texas. Why the frack would I come to Texas? Okay. I needed a place where they had. Mm. And um, I'm doing cheerleading symbols. 
Um, and it was great when I came here. I felt a sense more of community. I felt a sense of people caring about their families more and what's happening. But I can't live here. It's too hot. So I'm, I'm, I'm off to Tennessee. That's another like, you know, blood is the color of state. Anyway, um, my, and people, people trip when I say that I was a complete Smurf. I was a total Smurf. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was a total Smurf. So no one can jack, no one can talk smack to me. Other Smurfs cannot talk. I'll be like, no, I spoke your language too. Okay. I speak Swedish. Your pro the svenska. Veldikt okay. But I learned a new language. I woke up. Mm-hmm two years ago. Oh, I woke the hell up. Oh, I was anti, you know, metal. I was anti all of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can kind of say, but I can see, I can see some things on both sides of the coin, but to be honest, I will never be on the other flip side of that coin again. I am dead. Should the cabbage be, be cooked? Yes, please. Yes. Because you could have a great hygienic effect with cabbage, eating a bunch of raw cabbage, especially having a hard time getting iodine in your diet. What about dairy like heavy cream or sour cream? No sour cream. Heavy cream mm, should be grass fed. Uh, should be grass fed, to be honest. If you can do cream. Uh, macadamia nuts. Eh. People are getting fat on them. So. They're high in monounsaturated fat. They're kind of quasi keto, but people are getting fat on friggin' mac nuts. So I, I put it in my recommendations. I take it out. But look, if you're traveling, if you're in a pinch and you need something to just that can not be oxidized, right? That's not perishing, a non-perishable, and you can stick in and, and eat a macadamia nut. That could be a short-term solution. How do you tell if you're gaining fat or muscle? Oh, uh, you can do a DEXA scan, and you can you can see. I mean, you can see if you're gaining muscle, you know, you could, you can see, <laughs> you can see, you can see if you're gaining muscle. I mean, if you really are working hard with your workouts and getting sleep and, and this stuff is ketogenic approach to the only healthy way of eating. No, you could do a, um, a low carb, high fat diet and you're still eating starch and be healthy. You just have to be on point with the timing of your carbs, right? So you never become depleted of glycogen because the second that you're depleted, your blood sugar gets really weird. And then your adrenals, and then you've got cortisol, and there's all that whole mess. Uh, is ketogenic, oh, okay, about that. Uh, your brain is made out of glucose. No, it's not. Your brain is not made out of, Jake, you're really trying hard. Your brain is not made out of any glucose. No part of the body is made out of glucose. Your brain is made out of mostly fat and amino acids. You're very wrong. That's weird that you think the brain is made out of, did you not know that the brain is in the fat? There's omega-3s in the fat, bro. Love you, Jake, but you wrong, honey. I love cabbage. It's so funny, Jake, just, Jake, I think some guys that do this, I just want my attention. Because, like, I mean, you know I'm not gonna agree with you, Jake, so, like, who cares? You know, get on a flight and go to a poor third world economy nation and really help people if you wanna help. I'll go help some people who are, you know, homeless or having some, um, some financial problems. I think that would be amazing, but you know, you're just going to get hit hard with on this, this, you're going to get hit hard by me. And then you're going to feel like I'm being mean to you. And you think, I think, I think I'm rude and like, why even bother? Girl is terrifying. Michael says, I'm with you. Um, they won't wake up sleepwalking. What is it? All right. I've got to go and uh, work now, but great to see you on here doing your thing. Thank you, Michael. And I'm glad that you, Michael, aren't being signaled, the virtue signaling, you know what I mean, by like the status of everything. I'm glad that you've woken up because because my skin is brown. I am not. You cannot signal me. Okay. You, you cannot. I'm not going to play the game. I'm not. Any isms? I'm not going to jump on the virtue, virtue signaling bandwagon and start talking about how difficult it is to be a black woman. There, there is, there has been moments. Of course there has, of course. Um, but I'm not going to use it as a weapon, right? When, when this becomes weaponized, then ain't nobody can listen. It's just going to be fighting all the time. 
Uh, to heal your thyroid, you will have to do be keto omnivore. No, Don, you don't have to be keto omnivore. You could do a low carb, high fat protocol, especially if you've got a gallbladder problem. I would not put you on keto because you can't break down fat. Your gallbladder is not working. So I'd put you on a low carb, high fat protocol where you don't have high, high glucose and you don't have to worry about too much glucose in the system, which will jack up the hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal, and thyroid axis. So you could still do uh, uh, starch, but on a small amount with fat, with, with lower fat than keto, but higher fat than the standard American diet. I better go soon, we're almost an hour. Uh, let's see here. Jake still wants my attention, but I love you, Jake, but no. Um, best channel on YouTube. Ah, oh, Courtney, thank you. Not too many people in their 50s have abs like you. Why, thank you. I'm very proud of my abs, people. I'm very, I'm very proud of the abs. <laughs> Just to completely contradict Jake S. Um, Smurf. What's a Smurf? What color is a Smurf? Ricky Bobby? I'm surprised you're not hip on the terminology. Um, I agree with you completely. Total Smurf in NYC, right? For 22 years, uh, flinched to, uh, or what is it? I guess you took off to Florida a year ago. Loving it here. Good luck to you and your move. Thank you, Lada. So there are people like us who come from coastal areas that decided to venture outward, like fast. I, can, I, got, I went to Texas a year ago too. We probably left at the same time. Um, yeah, it, the, the other Jake is saying fruit has been engineered to be sweeter and last longer and more sugar to preserve it and to, to yeah, and to make you wanna buy it. I was a vegetarian for like three years. I think I made it made my body go into metabolic shock. Yes, I had hormonal imbalances. Yes, KLA. Uh, uh, through wait, so I had hormonal imbalances. Uh, roof is, wait, 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 I'm a new sub and want to want to try this. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about Kate. Maybe I'm not being shadow banned. I got a new subscriber, <laughs> like one. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let me see. Think Jake is trying to wind you up. He he can't. He can't wind me up. He's trying, it ain't working. There's two Jakes. There's one who's being awesome and one who's trying to get, he's trying to push his, his thoughts onto me over and over again. He's like, Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. <laughs> I think he's trolling. No, I think he, Ray K, I think he thinks he's, I think he legit believes in what he's saying. It's your truth, Jake. It's not everybody else's. <laughs> Jake, look, you're already getting pummeled in this chat. Super, super thin guys like, why are you telling us lies, bro? Uh, our pork skin's okay to snack on. If you don't have a histamine intolerance because they are our aged meats, um, I wouldn't snack on pork rinds. I would like you to do like a fatty broth and crack some egg yolks in it and some animal fat and do that in the middle of the night. Something that's easier for your body to digest that's not going to spike your glucose through a bunch of pork rinds, which are going to be high in, um, in uh, protein. Uh, Courtney Tyree Jones says, KLA, I think the same thing is happening to my girlfriend, plus her crazy mood swings. Yeah. Like, the brain just needs friggin' B12 beyond measure and a stable blood sugar. Insens insensitivity on high fat and low carb keto, right? <laughs> uh, possible, does it matter? Insulin sensitivity. Oh, do you have insulin sensitivity? No. High fat, low carb? Low, low carb what's low carb keto there if you're if you're low carb high fat you can have be insulin sensitive you can't be ketogenic if you have starch in so i'm not sure about the comment solar priest is like so sexy and i'm like i'm not now but okay i'll take it um oh let's see here Jake, I love you, but I had to put you, Jake, I had to put you in timeout. You're just like flooding my chat with stuff. And I already told you. The thing is when you tell somebody that you're not going to, you know, respond to them and to start your own channel, bone broth has oxalates, unfortunately. People are learning now they're having really bad histamine responses to bone broth because of the glutamate, monosodium, the MSG, the G, and also the oxalates that become liberated in the water. Now, 
if you eat the marrow itself, you're going to get a really good amount of, uh, I think you're going to get selenium in marrow just by eating cooked marrow. Off topic, but your eyes and nose. Ricky, my eyes and nose mesmer mesmerizing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I just came from the gym I feel so freaking scruffy right now good lord I live in Montana oh beautiful is there a ton wait there there's a ton out of state I know they all went to Montana because uh, I think they watched uh, what's the the um, Yellowstone too much or some lots of text and li license plates also yeah yeah, I just think because the mountains, I love the mountains. That's why I have to get out of Texas. People are like the hill country. I'm like, the hill, are you out of your mind? It's like that big. No, 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 no. I'm going to a, a, a state that actually has mountains. Tennessee. It's too late now. I already bought my land. Uh, you, or we're in the process of closing. Uh, you said uh, some of your carnivore, carnivores get histamine issues. Yes. And stuff longer term, yes, because they they lose diamine oxidase and N-methyl transferase. I was wondering if that's when they had plant foods or if they were reacting to meat. No, they're not reacting to meat. Just by eating a lot of meat, they're losing these en enzymes because it's not natural to just constantly, constantly, constantly eat meat. So people are losing these antihistamine, natural antihistamine enzymes when they're doing strict carnivore too long. That's what I was saying. And I'm thinking it might be the fiber that keeps the N-methyl -methyl transferase and the diamine oxidase, DAO. Which do you prefer, calisthenics or weightlifting? Calisthenics all day. Calisthenics, uh, how many grams of fat should I eat on low carb uh, for a man? Uh, probably 150, 160. One set. Yeah, like 150, 160. That's a, that's a good. That's mm, that's good. What causes two fingers? Uh, what causes two fingers on your hand to be ice cold? Um, it could be Raynaud's, it could be cortisol, it could be thyroid, I don't know. I've never heard of just two fingers. It could be Raynaud's. Yeah, the mood swings were really real. I basically had PCOS symptoms on vegetarian diet. Yeah, right, KLA? People don't understand how the vegetarian vegan diets just jack up your body. Right, K? I was thinking maybe they had just had too much of the, wait, too much enzymes and bacteria deal. No, 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 no. He said, okay, let me say this. I'm trying to hurry to get off this room. I was thinking maybe they just don't have as much of the enzymes and bacteria to deal with plant food anymore. They don't. They lose it um, when they eat too much meat for too, I mean, too much meat too long of a period. I've been drinking two liters a day of water with a teaspoon of sea salt and avocado and magnesium glycinate. Is that enough sodium? You might be having too much if you're adding another teaspoon in your food. So be careful not to have too much sodium salt uh yeah you taught it went taught on bone broth taught i taught on bone broth i oh, talked about bone broth i no longer make it only beef broth yes what's your favorite song i don't have a favorite song i have a bunch of favorite songs it depends on my mood uh that texas heat is something we chat south texas that's where i'm at awful are you related to tiger second cousin no um Tiger, you mean the rapper? You know what's so funny? I knew his producer, and his producer was like, because I was, I was, this is, I was, I was, uh, um, I was doing keto lessons, freaking, like way back in the day, and um, I met Tiger to help him with his anxiety and his depression, legit, right when Tiger first came out. Actually, I, I have his number in my phone, legit. He called me once because he was going through anxiety. I just remember that. I just remember that. Because um, I used to live in Hollywood. You guys know that. But that's what, well, that wouldn't be necessary to make it a problem to be a carnivore. No. You can be a carnivore. You just have to do things right. Uh, if you do it too long. You can also try to use a matrix of bone, bone, um, tendons, stuff like that. If they wanted to start eating plants again, they would they would build those enzymes. Yes, they would. Right, okay. Uh, would. Okay. I've got to go. Thank you, everybody, for joining this chat. Can I get the last people to like up the stream to bring people to my and I'm am I burning gas? Not really. Bring people to my my channel, my humble little channel, where I do live streams from my car because where I'm living, I don't get good Wi-Fi. I don't even know what time it is, but it's time to go. Thank you, everyone. 
energy, energy, energy. If you guys need a consultation, go to stephanieperson.com. Thanks for your time and answering questions. I'll have to ask more on the Facebook group. Yes, yeah, so I have a pay group. It's $15 a month. It's my course. Ask there definitely. Um, so I got, uh, so I, I got to get anxiety to get your, you, what? So I got to get anxiety to get your number, Stephanie? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, have a nice day. Uh, have you ever thought about spreading your knowledge at high school events? Um, years ago, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, I, I agree with Red Lips. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you for sharing Tiger Woods. Oh, that tiger. Oh, yeah, that tiger. I thought you meant Tiger the guy. I even forgot about Tiger Woods. Um, I could be his cousin or something like that. Anyway, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm not Thai, though. A lot of people think I'm half Thai or Filipino. Thank you, thank you so much for today's live stream. Um, on that note, you can go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic. Hold on. Hold on. I have to put him in timeout again. Jake, I have to put you in timeout. You're just you're just bombing my chat. It's really annoying. It's annoying. Um, Stephanieperson.com, Stephanie Ketogenic. Uh, my Instagram, my Facebook is Stephanie, the business person. Look, wait for tomorrow. I'll announce tonight on a post uh, when I'm going to release and what I'm going to release with my first series of podcast interviews with anti-fasting. And I'm out. Energy at 54 going on 55. Energy, 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 energy. I think you look more Scandinavian than anything. Well, they do have the salmon people up in. People don't know this that the salmon are connected to the Siberians, which are connected to the Alaskan indigenous people who have eyes like this. The salmon, yeah, super fin guy. What are moles on the skin from? They can be from high blood sugar, legit. Moles can be from high blood sugar. The native people, yes. Ooh, dude was close. He was close to my truck. Ooh, that gave me a little heart attack. Job. Okay. Uh, did strict keto for two years. Just found out I have Hashimoto's. Okay. Keto RX. RX. Uh, you might want to do a consultation with me. You're probably doing it the wrong way. Time to fix that Hashis. Help Hashis on keto. This is the reason, the reason why I tell you, you can't just do these diets and then you're fixed. You've got to do things and learn a lot about your existing health before you start throwing like weird keto and high protein and skipping meals and intermittent fasting and almond flour and keto products and beta hydroxybutyrate and not enough electrolytes and on and on and on bye guys thank you and i'm out see you tomorrow check out my my new uh podcast series and i'm out